let's go ahead and see what we can do to convert this. Now, remember what I told you about converting points. We know that x equals r cosine of theta, and y equals r sine of theta. Right? Those are, that is what's been provided to you when we're trying to convert from x, um, when we're trying to convert our coordinate points. Yes? From, from that? You guys remember that? Yeah. OK. So now, if I want to convert this to a polar equation, all I'm simply going to do is plug them in and solve for r. So y is r sine of theta equals r cosine of theta squared. Now we have to apply a little bit of algebra. Um, so we square this. So I get r sine of theta equals r squared cosine squared of theta. Now, again, as I said, we need to solve for r. So I have an r squared and an r. In this case, I'm just going to divide by r. So therefore, I have sine of theta equals r times cosine squared of theta. To now solve for, cosine, or to solve for r, I need to undo the multiplication of cosine squared. So I divide. Divide by cosine squared of theta. And I get r equals sine of theta divided by cosine squared of theta. However, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys remember in chapter in section 5.1, remember we practice simplifying? That's a squared. Right? Remember we practice simplifying trigonometric expressions? So we can simplify this a little bit further. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into sine of theta over cosine of theta times cosine of theta. Right, cosine squared is cosine times cosine. Therefore, we can group this together, and we can make sure we represent that as 1. So therefore, my final answer is tangent of theta times secant of theta.